Yo, 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 what's up with you guys? Welcome back to another video. Yo, it's been a minute. You see this light? That's my ring light. Bro, my setup looks so crazy. But uh, man, it's been a long time since I seen you guys. I got new hair. My hair is pretty short right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting so off topic, but man, it's been a while. But I kind of wanted to just chop it up with you guys and, um, and just kind of reminisce on life. You know, you see my chair, you got my little setup over here. It's looking kind of messy, but um, it's because I never cut here no more, man. A lot has changed. A lot has changed. As you can tell, I got new hair. I got a whole new setup. I got it. A lot has changed, man. I'll tell you that. And um, it's been about a whole year, like a, a year and a couple months since I've been out of barber school, you know, cutting full time and doing all of that man and it's pretty crazy to think about like I, my goal is just to give as much information out to the people just to help you guys succeed um and so i have a new idea i'm gonna end up uh i'm gonna end up not mentoring one of you guys but i'm going to end up helping you guys in your guys's career um you know somebody who's just starting off wants to learn you know uh i'm gonna try to help somebody just just give them my time and my knowledge and, and what I've learned. And they're gonna teach me as well because you guys are smart, you guys are so smart. And you guys have so much potential. Um, but with that being said, give you guys uh, an updates and some of the action steps that I think you guys should be doing that. Yeah, I'm 21 years old. I, this is my first year in barbering. You know, I, I said it in my last video, but I achieved the goal that I, I, I set for myself. I wanted to make 100,000 my first year in barbering and I did it. Uh, I set new goals for this year. Um, the goal right now is I want to make 160,000 this year. Uh, and again, it's all strategically planned. I have all of it planned out. Uh, I also wanna open up a barber shop this year. So I'm gonna get ready for that. Um, and I also wanna flip a property. So I wanna flip a home. Um, so it's an interesting combination of things that I wanna do. And uh, I've been actually kind of struggling on which order I want to do them in. Um, and I need to really come to the conclusion very quickly because if not, I'm not going to get any of them done. Um, so I need to come to the conclusion on what I want to do, prioritize it, and then start to focus on the actionable steps I need to do to make it reality. Um, and the reason is because I get so excited about so many different things um, that I end up going into this real estate stuff and focusing on that. And then I'm like, oh man, but barbershop sounds nice, so I focus on that. And then obviously I'm continuing to cut my hair and, and grow that business and stuff. But um, I know what I need to do. I need to focus on one. So I'm talking to Future All right here. Um, you're probably going to laugh at me for not hurrying up and making the decision sooner because the decision is only going to help me propel forward. And so I know I need to just make that decision and hurry up with it. But um, yeah, <laughs> this is the conversations that I have with myself. You guys are listening in. You guys are probably thinking I'm crazy, but um, but it's good. It's good conversations, right? And and I feel like we all should have these with ourselves. What is it that you want to do? And and it's okay to think crazy and out of the box. Trust me, people are gonna call you crazy. People are not gonna understand why you do what you do. But if you know why you're doing it, it doesn't matter, right? You just focus on that. But seeing if I was if I was to give anybody advice, if they were starting over, if I was to do this all over again and start from the very beginning, the first thing that I would do is focus on the ship that you're on, meaning, uh, you know, what barbershop are you at, and and how to vet the barbershop. You right? A lot of people just you know look at a barbershop and just say, hey, how much is booth rent? And if it's too high, if they think it's too high, then they go somewhere else until they find the one that sounds nice. But you can't really value a barbershop based off of a price on booth if you have no idea what value they have. And so I think those are the wrong questions to ask. We have to ask these barbershops a little bit. Questions that are gonna move the needle, right? And I would be very, very specific. You know, the first thing I would do before looking at any barbershop is I would look at the demographics. Uh, if you guys don't know what demographics are, it's simply the type of people that are in this neighborhood or whatever you're, wherever you're looking, whatever the barbershop city is in, right? Go to your city, look at the neighborhood, and you can find this all on, um, it's called Fred, Fred.gov or something like that. It's, it's, uh, I, I'm going to find the, the, the website for you guys and make sure I put it in there. Uh, but it's all local, everybody. It's very public. And so any of us can go and search it up and we can look for any county, any city and look at the demographics. So the first thing I'm looking at is what type of people are there. And the second thing I'm going to look at, 
is how much money they're making. So the more money they make, the more opportunity and the more that they're going to be willing to pay higher money, uh, higher prices. And you're just setting yourself up for, for uh, success. And then you're going to also want to look at what is the population there. Is there a big group of population or is it very tiny? And if there's it's very tiny, then there's not a, a large enough addressable market there, then you're going to want to make sure you're in a city or a county where there is. And the reason being is, uh, let's just say there's only 20,000 people in your city and there's 10,000 barbers, meaning, you know, there's going to be a select few of those barbers that have majority of the clients. And so there's not going to be a whole lot of growth there, whether as if there's 100,000 um, people in that population, and let's call it 10,000 barbers, there's a lot of people that need haircuts. And let's just say half of those are getting haircuts. You get the picture here. And so you're going to want a lot of people here. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you more opportunity to grow. And so once you look at that, then you're going to want to go to start scoping these barbershops, see, what, see where they're at, and just start looking, go, and I would spend like 10, 20 minutes there and just see how many cars are passing by all day. If there's tons and tons of cars, it's on a really busy street, you're in a, you're in a great spot. People are constantly looking at your barbershop. Then you can do some brick and mortar advertising there to attract more clients, but you know that the foundation is there. There's a lot of people in the county, they make a lot of money, and the, the demographic of people that are there fit who you're trying to cut, and it's males. And it could be with, you know, you have to identify who you're trying to cut. Now with barbering, there's a really large addressable market. Um, but obviously you're gonna wanna get really specific when you're marketing so that you market the right type of people that you want in your chair. It depends on what your, what your goals are. And then once you do that, then you're gonna talk to the owner. Okay, once all those things match, there's a lot of people, a lot of high, high income, and uh, very busy street, and you can do all this marketing around it and all that, then you're gonna wanna talk to the owners. Now you're gonna start to ask questions that are much bigger than Booth. Booth, I recommend being one of your last questions. If all these other things line up and are, and are re looking really, really solid, then I think Booth doesn't matter as much. The thing I recommend, uh, you ask, hey, what, what um, uh, can I raise my prices at some point? If they say, yes, you are allowed to do this thing, they're cool, you have opportunity to grow there. That's very important. The second thing uh, that I would probably ask is, um, you know, what types of marketing are we doing here? If they're not doing a lot of marketing, that's okay. Are, and then I would also ask them, are group uh, allowed to uh, help market our barbershop for everybody? And, and most likely they should be cool. But what that really means is, can I help you market our barbershop? And if the answer is yes, um, that's gonna be perfect because you want people who are willing to grow. And if you guys are all willing to grow together, it's only gonna help everybody in that barbershop. And so you really want to be around these guys that are gonna allow you to, to help grow it. Because um, you know the reality of it is not a lot of barbers, barbershop owners understand business. And so if they are doing well, and, and their, their barbers in there, you know, they're paying both. They don't really mind too much uh, about doing all this. Mar not saying all of them, but I'm not too sure. But if you can be the difference maker and you can be the one to be marketing and you can be the one to be trying to keep track of things and, uh, and they allow you to do that, man, you're golden, man. You can do anything because it's almost like as if you own that shop at that point. Not necessarily that you own it, but you have, they give you the power and the control to basically own that shop and you can do, you can work wonders. You can make that shop busy overnight because you, if you learn how to do all that stuff, the marketing and all that stuff, that's where it's at. Line, there's so much better questions to ask and I just have to think about them. But um, to me, it's all about growth, right? Are they okay with me growing or are they putting limitations on me? If they're putting limitations on me, that's probably not a barbershop I wanna be a part of and I'm gonna go somewhere that is willing to let me grow. And so, that is what you want to be around. Um, and if you can do that, if you have somebody that, that can do that, I don't really care what Booth is. And I understand it could be scary, you know what I mean? You're just coming out of barber school, you're not really making money, you have a lot of bills, and the last thing you want is a you know three hundred dollar booth rent or or a three fifty booth rent or even two fifty or maybe even four hundred. Um, and so you may want to go with you think you want to go with this the the cheaper booth rent. But what if you go to that 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 barbershop that has a hundred dollar booth rent, but you're only cutting five people a week? When if you could have just went to a four hundred dollar or let's just call it a three hundred dollar booth rent place, uh, but now you're cutting 20, 30 heads a week. It's a lot more. It's a lot smarter. Trust me. I promise you, 
um, it's it's the best thing to do. And and quite frankly, what I think in my area is 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 um is fair is roughly around two hundred two fifty around two hundred and fifty dollars a week. It's about a thousand a month. A little bit more than that if you count you know fifty two weeks out of the year. But um, that's roughly what it's gonna cost you. Uh, but all these other stuff matters, man. Uh, it really does. And so that is what I recommend anybody coming out of barber school. You look for a barbershop that meets these criteria. I want to see you guys succeed, and that's why I make these videos. Uh, I'm going to start to make more videos on the actual barbershop, man. I miss making those videos, but I'm going to be real with y'all, man. I'm always doing something. And when I'm in the shop, I'm busy. I don't. I try not to be on my phone, none of that, man. I'm, I'm getting straight to business. I'm cutting hair. Or if I am, if I'm not, uh, and I have a little bit of leisure time, then I'm working on on things that I need to be working on on the business, things that are going to help me grow and things like that. I'm not trying to scroll through TikTok and none of that because it's not going to help me grow. You know, that's that's the, the message tonight. I hope you guys took something out of this and learned a little bit about business. Um, but, but yeah, man, before any of this stuff, the thing that I would recommend the most is focus on your product or service. So if your product or service isn't good, meaning your haircut isn't that great yet, meaning the service that you give each client, your customer service, everything like that is not good yet, focus on that. If you can focus on that, you're going to have word of mouth on your side and you're going to be able to grow anywhere. So just remember that. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm going to Cancun very soon, man. So I'm going to end up recording a lot of that and you guys are going to see a little bit about Cancun. And so uh, it's a little nice little vacation. You know, I try to do it once a year just because I love to I love to vacation. And I'm going to show you guys uh, that Cancun trip. Hope you guys uh, like the video. If you do like it, make sure to drop a like. Drop that like button. Hit the, sm uh, the, the, the subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, man. Do you guys want to see more of this little... Just this, this standalone right here. I'm just chilling right now in the, in, in the garage, man, having a good conversation with y'all. Do you guys enjoy these? Would you guys rather be in the shop? You guys let me know. See you guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. I love you guys. Keep doing y'all thing, man. I want to see y'all succeed. If you guys have any more questions, let me know down in the, uh, in the comment section, and I'll, I'll try to answer as many questions that I can. Um, just to help you guys win, man. I want to see us all win. And I know you guys have what it takes, so keep going. I'm excited for every single one of you.